Uno, hey. dos, tres. I, I think he's coming. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Good morning. Good morning. Um, we're in full on hiking gear again this morning. Yeah, we're up a mountain. <laughs> we're kind of heading in this direction to start with today. We've got quite a lot planned for today. And if you watch any of our videos, you'll probably know that plans don't always work out with no, us. We tend to bite off more than we can chew. Yeah, but we have come up, well, quite high already. But we're going to get on the road or get on our feet <laughs> and walk on up the path. <laughs> Yeah, get it's on the quite, mountain. There's quite a few things we want to try and see on this mountain today. Yeah. And the first thing we're going to try and find, apparently there's a fault. So I think we are a little shocked about is the fact that, well, there seems to be four or five houses up here. Oh, 650 meters up at the first font, which seems to have a shut door. Yeah, but it says, Ah, close the door, close the door so you can open the door. And the bolt's not across, so are you ready? Okay, let's have a look. Is it this? It, oh no, hold on. <laughs> Ta da! That's. Oh, that's really cute. Look at that. Well, oh, that's lovely. And that's natural spring water. And coming through the rocks. Coming, as well. Yeah. Dripping into it. Oh, check out Mr. Stakey having a drink. Where? Can you oh, see him? Yeah. Just there. Actually yeah, he's checking me out. We'll leave you to it, okay, fella? Bit of wildlife. It's a good yeah. way to start the day. We often see wildlife while we're out and about, but for some reason, they, they must know we've got the camera. Because <laughs> whenever we're filming, we never see anything, do we? Nope. We've got up quite high already. This is where the car is down here, where these buildings are. And this looks like a hell of a landslide. It's quite recent as well, look, because you've yeah. only got plants out at the bottom and there's nothing there. Well, this is not an easy hike. I can tell you that's straight off already. I mean, there's Alison. The, the problem with this is it's so loose. I mean, what's that? That's got to be 40, 50% gradient there. I don't know. Well, I don't really... think we head that way because I think we see a trail marker in here. I think we're kind of heading over here. But still, kind of done a couple of little but... that does look really steep. <laughs> Why am I laughing? Because you're strange. Oh. Hi. Hi. Um, I know this was my idea. Yeah. But can I pretend it wasn't my idea? Hi. Just so you're aware, this was my idea. <laughs> This is uh, quite a route. I mean, you won't want to step a foot wrong up here, but it's a beautiful view. Monkey. Yes, darling. I think that's the fort. Where? Oh, over there. See the building, bricks and doors. And oh, hooray. Beat ya. Do a shortcut. <laughs> A maze, it kind of just yeah. roof's not fared so well, but then it kind of just goes off into that area. This is actually really cool. Oh, there's another arch over there, there as well. Yeah, are you going through? 
Yeah, it can do. It's not very high, is it? Yeah. But well, that's giving me palpitations <laughs> looking up there. Yeah, that's not that's not fun for you, is it? No. But is that has it just fallen? I don't know. It kind of looks like it's You think that hole may have just collapsed. Yeah. So Alison's just worked out that yeah, it was a fireplace. It was a fireplace. Because you've got the black burning around here uh, yeah, yeah. and on the roof there. And I reckon that was probably a chimney. Yeah, makes sense. Flew to help with it. Okay. Yeah. One question solved. Yeah. Mystery solved. It's bizarre that obviously recent humans have built have this. Built this. And it's clearly been waterlogged at some point. Mm. I do hope that's not, not what they call the pond. No. We're not going to be able to fill up from there. We are hoping there's a, a water fill up point somewhere on this hike. Oh, yeah. And out. Well, we're having five minutes. Can have a drink. We're sat in the shade. It's really starting to warm up, even though we deliberately picked today because the forecast suggested cloud cover and we have got some. It's, it's still warm, still humid. Four degrees less yeah. today than any other day. Take five minutes here, I think. Work out which way we're going to go because we bumped into a couple of people who said you can go the other side of. I can't show you at the moment. I should can kind of stand up and do that. Stop being lazy. So you can kind of go around the side of this lump here, kind of round and down that side of the valley. But we can kind of walk back the way we came and continue on. And we're going to try and head to a something, a cave, a, an arch. Apparently something's supposed to be very pretty. We've got to head back the way we came. We should presume heads all over there. And then when we get to a junction near back towards the car park actually we carry on don't we yeah for about another half hour after that if we apparently. get to the font we've missed it oh so we're gonna do the rest of this hike we're probably gonna have a, a bite to eat either on the hike or when we get back to the car we've got a packed lunch with us but then we're gonna head to a, a little village called a baluya which is a bit further in there and a bit sort of up in the the hills around here and have a look around there we, we have we did stumble across this village mm -hmm. last week and the other thing Alison has to say hello to a new friend yeah. and then there's a apparently it's only a five minute walk hike stroll fingers crossed we've been told to quite a pretty little swimming area which will be a perfect way to finish this day off. Day. We're at the uh, the junction. Hi. This, I don't even see this kind of makeshift path they made here. This is the way we came in and then we went off up this way. And now what we've got to do is climb up here and off up into the clouds over there. We're definitely in the clouds now. Yep. I, I, look at this lot, blowing yeah, up here. I was going to say. I don't know if any of this comes out on camera properly, oh, but... I do hope so. That is just awesome. It just looks like smoke. It does. Doesn't it? Apart from you can feel the damp in it. Yeah. Well, I've got to nice. say, <laughs> this is a lovely way to hike. Look at this lot, look. Yeah. It's the speed as well it's travelling. But we've got further to go, so... One foot in front of the other. They are mesmerising though. Yeah, and let's uh, make our way up. I definitely think we picked a good day for this. These clouds are rolling in and they're hitting the side of the cliff here, rolling up. And when they hit you, it's just this blast of cold, damp air. It's beautiful. It's making this hike really pleasant. The only problem is... What's that, darling? There's a board here. Yeah? 
that tells you what you can see. <laughs> but we can't see it. All of a sudden, the terrain has changed, doesn't it? Yeah. Got these massive, great boulders everywhere. And I presume this is gonna be the area where we're gonna find this cave arch. So apparently darling, ooh, we're going up now. I presume this is the route up to the cave arch thing. We may, may have actually made it. I do hope so. That just here looks quite promising. However, there's only one way of finding out and that's walking around to it. Hallelujah. Whoop, whoop. We made it. Oh. Oh, yeah. Yay, we made it. And it reckons that the fort is that way an hour. <laughs> We do stop though and look, and obviously we're messing around with this thing a bit. But it's taken us an hour and a half. I'm going to make a... Um, Go on, um, executive decision. Yeah, what that? What's your executive decision, my darling? Lunch before we look around. Yeah, okay, we'll find some. Uh, my legs don't belong to me right now. To uh, on our backside and have a... Yeah. I'll pack lunch, we've got some right. salads again. That was hard. That was hard going. We're not kidding. However, not a bad place to sit and no. have some food. We're facing the wrong way, What's but that? no. Well, we should be facing this way. Well, my theory is, is this way we can see that view, and I don't know if you guys can see it on the camera, but the sea over there. But behind you, over this way, actually, I'll quickly show you. It's that's the cave, which we're going to go and have a look at once after lunch. We finished our salads. Yeah. Right, finish food, and we'll see you in a bit. That's uh, filled a hole. Filled a hole. We've eaten. Lovely place to sit on that rock there with the view of that. And uh, however, we've got to say something. We have noticed that there is a excuse me, darling. There is a signpost here that tells us that Casas de Bernia is in that direction for one hour. And by that direction, it's pointing us towards the cave. Let's uh, get in here and actually see if this is exactly what we think it is, which is a tunnel that potentially goes all the way through the mountain. It's gonna get a bit dark actually, I think, so this time we have remembered to bring the torch. But, oh my word, okay. <gasps> it's not very long, but I'm getting a feeling you might not wanna do this one. Oh. Decision made, we're gonna leave the backpack uh, down here on the rock because this is you can see daylight, so. really low. It's not very long, but this is down on, <laughs> this is down on all fours, this one. This apparently, oh, oh. there, that, this is, Uh. 
Oh. Okay. That was quite hard work. Let's see if Alison's gonna come through. Not this time. You're not gonna do this one? No. Too much? Mm -hmm. It is very low. Right. Be within a second. Bless you, if you saw our uh, video from Chelva, I think it was. She's done really well to get through that tunnel. This is too low. The fact I'm down on my elbows at some point to get through. Shot she even thought about it. But I do believe what you can do is continue and follow this path all the way through and it loops back round to the, the fort. But for today, because I think that's two and a half hours in that direction, I'm heading back through this thing. And uh, we'll head down from there. So while Darren was crawling through the far too small hole, <laughs> I was having a look around over here and somebody has clearly brought um, a small cross and a photo of their loved one and left it tucked in the cave and then there's another photo of a much younger person the first one's an older person the second one is a much younger person and i find that a really lovely idea yeah i don't know whether this was a special place to those that mm. have their photos here or we're not going to show just... the individual things on camera because we don't no, know because that's disrespectful but they're kind of up in the corner behind us here but it was, I just thought Flash it was really lovely. Yeah. Well, this is actually really worth the hike. That was, I, that was really hard, but this is worth the hike. That was hard work, but it's this lovely. is cool. This is very cool. Now I've got to do, get back down the hill. Hill, <laughs> mountain. Mm -hmm. And then we're gonna get in the car and head to a, a village called uh, Baluya. Mm -hmm. This is actually quite a long walk down, isn't it? Mm. Should we do a bokaren? <laughs> Use a bit of magic. Ready? To put my hat. Well, mm -hmm. that was easy, buddy. It was. If only it was. Yeah, that was a really hard hike down. To be, to be fair, the weather, the clouds only vanished. You can probably see now that we've got clear skies again. The clouds vanished, the sun came out, it got very hot and that became difficult. But I think the first bottle call before we do anything is go into the local bar and get a drink. And see my friend. And see Alison's friend she met last week. And, she's and got. Take him these. Yeah. <laughs> We've not told you what he is yet. No. But she's bought him some nuts. In the local bar. Got a couple of drinks. And this is the introduction to uh, oh. Alison's new friend. You bite it. Let's yeah. it. What was the name of this gentleman? This is Kuro. Kuro. Hey, Kuro. Hi Nolan. He's Guapo. Guapo. He's seen you. My friend's going to see. Yeah. He's lovely. He's too. I really like him. He's 21-ish. Is he? I think I remember. Wow. Yeah, Nina said, uh, later called Nina. Hi Nina. Hi Nina. You were over there somewhere. Um, said that when she came 21, 22 years ago, he was already here. Oh, yeah. But she's his best mate. Oh. Glad we've had a cold drink. Yes. My hidden plan is now is get out there. We're going to go and do a quick look around this village. I think we're going to like it. Really? Something tells me we're going to like this village. She's got the right feel about it. So we're going to do that and then I think we need to move the car move the to the other side of the village. And take the walk and down women. to a swimming pool. Women. Well, not a swimming pool, but... No, it's not. You, you'll see. Yes. All right, so I don't think this village is going to take long to have a look around because it's no, tiny. It's not very big. I don't know which way we're going to go because well, that well, seems as good as any. Kind we'll of... start that way. If it's a dead end, we'll come yeah, back. And... Zigzag up and down. I don't know what it was. Like I said, we came here last week. And I think this has possibly come across in a couple of our videos already. 
sometimes we just get a feel about a place. And we kind of did about here. Mm. But it's also about being made welcome as well, isn't it? I, yeah, that we obviously goes a long welcome. way. <laughs> this is steep. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, um, but being made welcome does go a long way. But yeah, I, we just had to come back and have a look around. You're right though, these things are literally all over the village, aren't they? I think they're lovely. Oh yeah, no, they're not there. Wowzers. I love that. I love it when villages do stuff that have this like, kind of feels like a sense of community, doesn't it? Yeah. They've all done it. Yeah. A lot of people have done it. Me. <sighs> so those writings we're seeing on the walls around here, from what we're translating, a bit of using Google Translate and our own knowledge, and being blunt, our Spanish is not always good enough to understand everything, but from what we gather, it, it seems to be sentiments about how people feel about this village. This is nice. I don't know if this is always like this. They put these up in our village, don't they, when they're doing like paellas in the street and stuff. Yeah. I don't know if something's going on here in the next few days, or this is like this permanently with this shade. Nice though. Love the doors on that house on the corner. This one. Actually, the whole building is pretty. Yeah. What's that? The future is not written because only the village can write it. Oh yeah, on the wall there. Oh, I like that one. This is cute. Very cute town hall. <laughs> Lovely. Yeah. Well said, I'll add on for Suarez. Yes. Good call, Adolfo. Yeah. It's lovely. I really like. What's that? Your happiness is my happiness. My happiness is your happiness because we are all one family. Now read the Japanese. I can't. It probably says the same thing because obviously that's in so, Spanish, yeah. that's English. And that's, that's in Japanese. Japanese. That's phenomenal. I love that phrase though. I, I love really Japanese like writing though. Yes, it looks gorgeous. Yeah. One of our plans, once we do finally hit the road, and this is not going to be immediate, we've got we're going to tour Spain, Three Turkey, to see Greece, probably Northern Africa first. But then from there, we're not sure if we want to head across to the US and Canada or go to Japan next from there. My dream has always been Japan. I really want to go and see that country. Right, so we seem to have done a bit of a, a loop around the village and um, I'm thinking we've ended up back at the, yeah. We have. Back Can at the I bar. Just say how lovely that was. What's that? That we just passed a lady carrying cakes. And she offered us some and cake. And we, we joked and said, who are they for us? And she said, do you want some? Yeah, that was lovely. Bless her, that was very sweet. So, now in the car, I think we moved down to a car park. We've been told we've moved down to a car park over the other side of the village. Yeah. Then we got a short walk yep. for swimming. Yeah. Let's go. Swimming. So we've moved the car. And to give you a rough idea, the, the village is just here. This is the village we've, we're in. That's Baluya. Mm -hmm. We've parked the car down this end. And apparently somewhere up here, we take a left and head towards 
a swimming area? Yes. A mill of 0.4 kilometres, the front of 0.2. While we're just taking this short walk, I gotta say, we, we were talking in the bar and I think we've come to an agreement that today is the last big hike we're gonna do until this summer weather breaks. Yes. We were lucky with the cloud cover, but... And we got there early, yeah. intentionally. But these big hikes in this weather, it's, it's gonna get too much now. It took us a lot longer than it said it was meant yeah. to, didn't it? So, so until we're fitter. For those of you that like the big hikes, I'm really sorry you're going to have a six-week break from it. <laughs> for those of you who hate, <laughs> happy days. I, I can hear water. I can hear water. And ooh, flowing water. Hello, there's a pond. And oh, oh, hello. Well, that's a font and a half. Oh, this is this is lovely. Look at it. That's cool. Oh, that's so pretty. Look at the way the tree is just... I what's that? Rumba. Is that cold? That's, that's a little bit beyond frosty top. Ooh, that's nice. Ooh. Ooh, put your feet in there, darling. Yeah, oh, this is a mate. Look at this tree I'm saying, and this one up here. Mm. This is incredible. I love this. Do you know, was it two weeks ago? In Samat, I said about that monastery roof and everything being the single most beautiful architectural thing I think yeah. I've seen. <laughs> I think this is the single most beautiful natural thing. natural thing I've seen. I think I think this is gorgeous. The way the roots yeah. and the rocks all intertwine, it's incredible. You couldn't make this if you tried. No. no. I think we may have found where we go swimming. Is it me? Or am I... Look at the... That's super clear. It is very clear. Right. Time to go swimming, darling. That looks lovely. That does look lovely. This is where I think we're going to uh, finish our day off. So... Yes, Need to go and uh, get changed into some swimmers. We've got a local tanning himself. <laughs> Yeah, get changing swimmers and go and have a dip. We're going to join this gentleman, get sorted, get swimmers on, darling, yeah. and go and go Ooh. swimming. That looks chilly. That looks lovely. <laughs> two thumbs straight. Oh, is that two thumbs straight? <laughs> <laughs> oh, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. Oh. That is cold. Yeah. Oh. 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 Nice, darling. This is lovely. I agree. However, your turn. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Your turn. Okay. Okay. Uno, dos, tres. <laughs> okay. Hey, 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 hey. Este, este, cinco, cinco, cinco. Uno, hey. dos, tres. I, I think he's coming. Okay. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is lovely and fresh, yeah. but it does oh. take your breath away when you first get in. Oh, it is nice though. It's lovely once you're in. Oh. Do you know what? I think we're going to call it there. Yeah. We're going to enjoy this, uh, the rest of this day. And, uh, well, we'll say goodbye to our friend first. 
<laughs> Bye, adios. <laughs> and um, thank, thank you, you so much me. for watching and uh, take care. We'll see you next Sunday. Bye. Take care, bye for now. <laughs>